Welcome back to the channel everyone. I'm Jewel Dross, this is Retro Reselling. Busy, busy weekend. Obviously hitching meet up, met some lovely people, subscribers, fellow YouTubers, yeah, just overall legends. Uh, so many nice words being said uh, for the videos I've been making. So thanks to everyone that did say hi. Really appreciate it, really humbling. Inspired me to crack on making more videos basically. So yeah, awesome weekend. But now it's back to the nitty gritty of work. We're in the unit. Obviously, if you've been catching up with the channel, you know I won't be in here for much longer if the plan goes to plan. This is a 75 square foot and I'm getting quotes. I found my man who gives me good discounts. He's gonna to talk to the manager about getting a 175 square foot. So yeah, I'm gonna have proper office set up, laptop and everything. I've got my personal Wi-Fi box thing that came last week. That all seems to be working. Photo area, obviously racking area packing area everything all in one room um yeah so that's the plan going forward hopefully in the new year just gotta wait for a price and yeah so we won't be seeing this room for much longer hopefully if you're new to the channel just come across this video i sell secondhand things on ebay try and focus on vintage retro so we've got ski suits we've got vintage electronics projectors we've got trainers we've got bike stuff anything really that I find cool or I'm interested in and I can find it cheap enough to sell on for a profit basically that's my full-time business full-time income to support my family and yeah this YouTube channel basically documents everything that I do while giving tips and hints on the way so 11 orders this weekend it was a bit quiet of a weekend but not every weekend can obviously be like brilliant like it was the past couple of weeks or past few weeks good sales though overall got me through so let's get you strapped to my head pick out what i got and i'll explain what they are and what they went for okay the first thing i'm going to share with you isn't actually from ebay and you'll recognize the buyer mm -hmm. mr zahir malik bought this awesome shirt look at this i'll bring it out in the light it's a sony mini disc sponsored juventus away shirt Del Piero on the back, number 10. Awesome shirt. I really wanted to keep this myself. But it's got the Champions League badge on the sleeve. It's their 100th year celebration shirt as well. But yeah, uh, Zaheer messaged me, gave him mates rates. It was actually the weirdest <laughs> negotiation in history because we was both haggling. I was trying to get him to buy it cheaper. He was trying to pay more f for it. But yeah, we agreed on a price. Uh, we'll keep that confidential, but yeah. I made profit, so here's got a good deal. Boom, thanks so much mate. Gonna send this today, hopefully you'll get it tomorrow. Yeah, awesome score, but something I nearly kept myself. Also linked with Sahir's sale, uh, I also have a subscriber sale. These are going out to David. You might recognize these from a charity shop championship. I think I picked these up in Lee, but I'm not sure about that. Can't remember what they owe me. Probably about six pound, I think it was. Listed them for $24.99. David took advantage of my 20% offer code in my video descriptions and these have sold for $19.99. Again, bill payer, bread and butter item. I paid £6, got 20 so I've made sort of 12 ish pounds probably after fees and that. Nothing special, but the, yeah, really nice high tech walking boots. Apparently, they're for the new boot sale season. These have worn out. These should do the job nicely. Really, lots of tread left. So, yeah. Have you pleased with these, David? Thanks so much for supporting me and the channel. And yeah, hopefully these get to you as soon as possible. Another sale we'll recognize from the Lee uh, Charity Shop Championship is these funny little things. <laughs> Duck feet, they're called, made in Denmark. 20 pounds they were marked at in the charity shop. But obviously looked them up while I was in there. I saw people getting sort of 40 onwards for 40 to 60 some got 65 i think but they were like in basically new condition these are obviously a bit more warm it's a bit of like wear and tear as you get from shoes anyway this is these 55.99 and they went for 55.99 no offers no nothing needed sold within the first week of listing so again paying up has really paid off here paying 20 pounds might seem expensive in a charity shop but when i'm returning 55.99 I'm happy to do that for an easy pack. Maybe if this was heavy and more awkward, I might not bother or might think about it a bit more. But yeah, when it's been shoved in the bag and off it goes, I'm happy to pay 20 to get nearly 60 quid all day long. 
All right, we've got a football shirt now, Blackburn Rovers. This was actually one of their better years. They've been relegated from the Premier League now. But this was from a season, I think they finished about 6th or 7th, something like that, quite high up in the league. I think Allardyce was their manager at the time. No name on the back, but this owes me about 3 or £4 pounds from a boot sale. I bought it quite a while ago, so it's been listed for a while. But I ain't tired of it, 29 99 and that's what it sold for. Really happy with that. Again, nice and light. Been selling quite a lot of shoes and clothing recently, which has been helpful as I've been busy with the changes coming up. <clears throat> Another charity shop championship sale. The most recent one and a disappointing one when I went to Colchester. There's a vintage shop. It was my favourite charity shop, uh, but they closed it down and moved it. So it's like all new and they've bumped their prices up even more. But I've managed to get this for £8, which is again paying up a bit. With these Viewmasters though, the red ones do bring the better money. You do get the a beigey, grey, brownie type colour. They still sell well, but not as good as the red ones, like this one. Obviously, the original box. Got the few master here, and also a few uh, reels as well, including a postman pack, which is quite cool. I added that in the listing. £29.99 from £8. Again, £8 seems to be paying up a bit, but £30, nice and light again, nice and small. No problems to send. So happy to pay up for this sort of markup and a really cool item as well to go on my business page on Facebook. And yet another charity shop championship sale. Here it is. I have to thank my daughter Layla for this one. She spotted this first. It's Rubik's Revenge. Obviously the normal Rubik's Cube is three by three by three. This is all the fours. There's a date here of 1982 made in Hong Kong. This is older than me, a lot older than me. I was a 91 baby. <laughs> so this was around way before I was. And it's really cool because it's got its original case as well, which is also marked. Oh, this is marked 1981. So yeah, it's got its case. It's a really cool item, unusual. When I first picked it up or when we first found it, I thought it was gonna be worth quite a bit more because I haven't actually seen a vintage for like cubed one before. But uh, someone was trying 70 odds, someone was trying 18 or 12, whatever it is. Someone did get £10 in an auction, so I wasn't really sure what to price it at. Tried it at £16.99 plus postage. I thought I was going to have to wait months for this because they didn't seem to sell very often. Yeah, within a few days, gone. £16.99. Again, small and light. Box it up, pad it out. And that's a nice bill payer yet again. So thanks Layla for finding it. Dad will treat you. <laughs> okay, this is from a contact I've made through YouTube and Instagram. Bought a load of tennis shorts from this contact for £40, but I had loads of them and I've already way into profit and I've sold yet another pair. I thought these were going to linger around until spring, obviously, with tennis and because these are proper short shorts and with the British weather being as it is, it's zero degrees actually today, so it's freezing, but I still managed to sell some. These are actually off to America. They've sold through the GSP program. I've actually sold about three of these that have gone to America. So obviously nice and warm there still. They like their tennis. Yeah, these are proper 80s, like early 80s, maybe even 70s, like short shorts. I tried them on and yeah, uh, very flattering. <laughs> but each one owes me about three or four pound, I think it is. These have gone for 20 plus postage, so really good markup. I'm way into profit. I've st still got plenty more to sell, yeah. So that's really cool. Really cool contact to have. And yet again, nice easy post for me, which is really cool because I'm really busy today. <laughs> Two pairs of DMs going out this weekend. £32 and a penny and £90. Now these have gone for 90, I'm sure you know why, if you've been obviously watching my channel for a while. But if we turn this around, made in England. That makes all the difference with prices. Obviously they're vintage as well, which helps. They're a bit warm, but obviously all disclaimed in the listing. Lots of pictures so they know what they're getting. Uh, these ones, not made in England. These were made in China. Sort of retro, probably not quite vintage, but yeah, made in China. Only £32 for these. This was from a bulk buy from a supplier. Um, each pair owes me about £11.50 or so. Making profit on both, but yeah, made in England. As soon as you've got Dr. Martins and made in England, you can ask a premium again. Price goes up even more if you can get a colour. Obviously, DMs come in black like most of the time, but this is a nice dark green. And yeah, more unusual. 
not as easy to find so again asking more of a premium thought I was chancing it a bit with the condition but the vintage and the England made supplier uh, yeah helped these sell I can't get enough of them to keep up with demands basically but I have found a supplier hopefully they can get a lot more for me in the future that's what it's all about when you're full-time reselling you've got to make contacts find suppliers keep that stock coming in keep it ticking over and this just shows why that is so important actually got a bigger item to send out today got to be more careful it's this really cool Panasonic like boom box it's got a tape player the CD comes out here radio plays really well this is in really good condition could have got a bit more really took an offer of 39 pound in the end it's got his remote but uh, yeah I thought I would have got a bit more sort of 40 to 50 but um, it was sitting around for a while I put offers on and yeah someone offered me it starting to stick around I want to get it moving I've made profit on it anyway so yeah just a really cool item really unusual shape this is gonna be the hardest thing to pack but uh, yeah still no problems nice big box pad it out with some craft paper and actually get there safely last item of this video again from a contact from my same Instagram YouTube contact that sells clothing in bulk this owes me about two pounds in a bulk deal I've done with him Barcelona uh, away shirt nice yellow color I think it's a medium size yeah men's medium obviously with kids football tops I don't bother they're not worth much at all and they take longer to sell sent out and bulk uh, offers to watches deal I think it was 15 or 12 percent off and someone took it so it came to 13 pounds and 19 pence plus 2.99 postage so again easy to picture list post so from two pound into 13 not amazing but yeah keeps that money ticking in there we go another weekend of orders picked ready to pack when i get home so that's me done for the rest of the morning now not too bad again lots of easy stuff just the one uh boom box to pack that takes a bit more time and effort but yeah overall not bad we'll see into december now so i juggle fba got a lot here to send and i really need to do this this weekend obviously december is when all these board games are going to fly out as soon as they hit the shelves basically had a slower weekend on ebay but amazon has like made up for that which is really good um three figure sales easily on each day of the weekend on amazon so awesome uh, it was stuff that sort of I was getting quite a few in stock at Amazon I was worrying that they don't sell as much but as soon as like last weekend hit they've just been selling and I've even sold out of a few lines that I had sort of 18 to 20 items of so yeah really good that makes up for it I do find FBA a bit of a drag but yeah when it pays off like it has like saved me this weekend like I've still done good on eBay don't get me wrong <laughs> but when I'm gonna be the breadwinner very soon yeah need to get that multiple streams of income coming in so yeah Amazon has done that this weekend I'm not sure if the stuff I sort of sell is giftable I've got like a bit of RA but then we've got that like, vintage tech vintage clothing so yeah will be interesting to see how I get on this Christmas on eBay okay so that's the end of this video now thanks again to Sahir and David for the two sales really appreciate it it's like the best way to support me if you are ever interested in anything I pick up there's a 20% discount code in the description below click that it takes you through to my shop and yeah you get that discount especially for you lovely subscribers and I say it again thanks so much to everyone that came on the weekend to the Hitchin retailer meetup it was great to see everyone if you didn't go this year because you like nerves or anxiety etc um, yeah Make sure you do come to the next one. Everyone's lovely. Obviously, I'm a bit introverted and anxious as I is anyway. But yeah, everyone's lovely. Uh, everyone greets you. Easy to talk to. Yeah. Make sure you get there next time because uh, the place is booked up fast. <laughs> okay, I'm going to love you and leave you. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. <laughs>